So this is a climbing line I've been using for some time now. It's a hundred feet long and I've made numerous ascents and descents on it. It has, as you can see, a sewn eye at each end. My conversation this morning brought to mind or a hypothesis on what causes milking. Now this is Vega, Marlow Vega, and its specifications show a very low slippage. It's like 0.1% or something. Now they have a different way of testing that for CE standards, but nonetheless, um, some people report uh, milking, and I have not seen any milking on this. I mean, it's got a consistent feel all the way across the rope and like I said it's got a sewn eye at each end if there was any milking I'd have a big balloon down here someplace and um, it's pretty darn consistent probably some of this might in the middle might be a little tighter because it's had more use than the ends um, but nonetheless it all it all bends about the same and feels very similar so what causes the milking and what is the effect of the milking? So we know you can milk a climbing line by pulling down on it. You can put a pressic on here and milk a climbing line and it milks the cover down over the sheath. Um, some of my friends will report that they have milking on this Marlow. Like I said, I have none. And here's what I suspect or what my hypothesis is, but I don't know what the ultimate effect is of a milking line other than the inconvenience if like I, you, like I do, I splice on both ends. I don't want a big bubble at the end of my climbing line. But I, I also wonder what the strength um, would be. I mean, you milk off 10 feet of a 150 foot line, that's 10 feet of cover that's not there anymore. I don't know what that ultimately means the strength of the rope so here's my hypothesis when I'm descending that's what's going to be milking the line when I'm pulling down on this cover so on the hitchhiking device it puts a pinch in the rope it squeezes the rope so it's the first thing that happens to this rope as I'm coming down the climbing line First thing it does is it squeezes on this. The hitchhiker will squeeze in two places. Then after that, the controllable friction follows. The controllable friction is wrapped around the core and that's pulling down on the sheath. But because it's already pinched, my hypothesis would be that I don't see or see very little milking because that sheath is already pinched into place before the milking um, can happen from the pressic, or the friction hitch. Now, the inverse of that would be something like the rope wrench. And I'm not advocating one device over another device. That's not what this is about. But when you think about it, the, on the rope wrench, you have a bend up at the top. And then below you have a friction hitch. It's the same thing with uh, a uh, Blake's hitch or, you know, the hitch climber pulley or something where all you have is a, is a uh, friction hitch on here. The friction hitch grabs the sheath and pulls it down. So on the rope wrench, the first thing that happens is you have the friction hitch with the wraps around the sheath that are pulling down on the sheath. The core is stretched out. The sheath is getting pulled down and then you have the bend so there's nothing that pinches and holds things together before the friction hitch slides down. 